Okay, let's go ahead and open this box. So here you can see it's got a nice silicone and fabric carry case. Uh, you have the Hoham logo on there. There you have it. It's uh, pretty straightforward. You have yourself a user guide. You've got yourself the micro USB cable. A little tripod, it's plastic, not heavy duty, but that's fine. And then you have the actual gimbal itself. So there's not a whole load of accessories, so it's very simple and straightforward. But sometimes I like that minimal kind of packaging so that you can get up and running straight away. So let's go ahead and review this gimbal. Right, so just to give you an overview of the buttons on here as well. So you have the joystick here, you have the uh, Bluetooth indicator light there, you have the uh, mode indicator light there, which flashes in various different amounts based on which mode you're in. You also have the wide and telephoto uh, zoom control there, which goes up and down. Then you have this mode button here. So as you can see here, there's four different modes that's written down on there. Let me just come a little bit closer for you guys. So the first one, it says PF, which is pan follow. Then you have PTF, which is pan tilt follow. Then you have all locked, which is the third one. And the last one is all following. So to get to each of these, you can see that there's some dots there. So four dots for the last one, a single dot for the first one. So what you have to do is basically press this and depending on the number of dots, that's what mode it will go in. So if I wanted all locks mode, I'll have to press this three times and it will give you an indicator there on the mode light. And likewise, you have to press this for the camera or the video recording button as well. Hold this down to turn this on and off as well. On the left hand side, you have a little screw port here. So in case you wanted to mount something like a external light or a microphone or anything like that, you can add your own accessories through there. Now it doesn't come with any additional accessories, so you'll have to buy that yourself. Then inside here, you have two ports. You have the micro USB charging port, and then you have the actual traditional USB port to actually charge your smartphone using the gimbal. So I think that's pretty convenient. So on the back here, you have the actual gimbal control button to stabilize this back into central position. And then along the bottom as well, you have another screw to mount the tripod. So along the side of the mounting plate, you have another screw port here. So in case you wanted to add another light or a tiny microphone on top of your smartphone, then you can also do that by screwing it onto there. Then inside here, you have the lock screw to actually change the height or the width of the actual gimbal. So you can move this in and out and lock it into position. One thing I really like as well, as you can see from the design, it can actually rotate into portrait mode. So if you're doing some filming and it's on landscape, you can actually just twist this round like so, and then you'll be able to shoot this in portrait mode. So you have to adjust the phone a little bit just so that it doesn't hit the side of the axis here, but it's pretty solid. It doesn't feel like it's going to actually cause any damage or anything like that. So that's pretty convenient to have. And then this opens up both ways. So depending on the width and size of your phone, this should be able to fit most smartphones nowadays. Okay, so let me go ahead and turn this on. You can see on the right hand side, you have four LED lights there, each of them indicating 25% of battery life. So as you can see, this is currently at 100% because I've just fully charged it. Now the gimbal itself is actually 3,600 milliamp hours. So that gives you 12 hours of working time and it gives you a full charge in about three and a half hours. If for any reason you have some problem using the gimbal and the axes are maybe drifting and they're not maybe smooth as you'd like it to, you can actually go into calibration mode. So if you hold down the mode button for a very long time, and then you lay the gimbal down flat, then it will go into calibration mode as so. So as you can see, the mode light is a solid green and this has gone into calibration mode. So I had to hold that down for about six seconds and uh, it went into that mode immediately. Now that the mode light is off, it's now completed and I can start using this again by turning it on. Now I'm ready to connect this to my phone. I've got the uh, Hohem iSteady Mobile Plus app. It's very simple to set up as long as the gimbal is on. You just go through the settings. Now I've paired this already, so I'm going to reconnect it. It's up and running. So I'm using an Android, but this is also compatible with iOS. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can download the apps. So there's various functionalities. I would definitely recommend using their app because you get all of the different functionalities and the modes to get the best video recording. So you have modes like inception mode, 360 degree panorama, motion time lapse, hyperlapse, slow motion, and tons more. So in the actual app itself, there's plenty of options. You have a little filter icon there on the bottom right. You can actually change the video and see in live view a different filter. I can go and cycle through all the different ones. It's very similar to Instagram. Some of them have actually the same name as the Instagram filters as well. 
So that's pretty convenient. I've uh, not seen much features like this in other gimbal apps. So I'll leave it on original for now. On the bottom right, you have the video icon. In here, you'll be able to go through all the other different modes like motion lapse, light rail, which gives you at night time if you do some light streaks, it slows things down and gives you a long exposure of that. You also have time lapse mode, a very long exposure, and then the standard video recording. In terms of the panorama options, you have panorama 180 and then a complete 360 as well. So if you wanted to get a complete view of everything around you, you can do that. There's also a face tracking mode. So if I turn this on, it will track your face and then you leave the gimbal on a tripod and then you can move around and it will follow you and where your face is. On the left hand side, you have some filter settings. If you wanted to change the focus, the white balance, the uh, EV on there and uh, also the ISO, you can do that from there. You can turn flash on and off, switch between the front camera and the back camera and then go into other phone settings to change the video resolution, camera resolution, photo sizes, noises and all this kind of stuff. So plenty of options to play around with. Okay, so that was the unboxing. Now let's go ahead and I've got this set up with my phone. So I'm going to go out, start doing some filming and hopefully you guys will like the footage.
Okay, so from my point of view, this has probably been the easiest gimbal that I've set up. It's just straight out of the box, put your phone in, turn it on, and you're ready to go. Obviously, you need to download the app, and I connected that immediately, didn't have much problems with that. So all of the links of how you can download the app and all of the information of where you can buy this gimbal is in the description below. If there's anything specific you'd like to know about this version of this uh, gimbal, then do drop a comment. Otherwise, I hope that was useful. I'm going to have a lot more gimbals I'm going to test in the future. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those ones. Otherwise